Hey y'all, it's your girl Brittany. I'm back better with another video. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, like the video, and click the bell to be notified of every time I post because I do post frequently. All right, y'all, y'all already know what we're doing. We jumping, skipping, hopping, leaping, doing the juggy into this video. Make sure y'all go check out the link down below. Um, it's for the Patreon and go over there and become a member. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So who was the most reckless out of episode four? I think I want to start kind of, you know, doing this because, you know, we have so, well, I don't know. I don't know how many episodes we have. Four young, four young and reckless because we're on day two now. Um, but I do want to start doing this, you know, after the show so we can all agree, disagree about who was the most reckless out of this episode or who had parts of being reckless. You know, who, who had, you know, maybe at the beginning of the episode was given very much young and reckless, you know, at the end or like throughout the whole thing. Okay, so the first person I want to get into who I felt like was being somewhat reckless is, drum roll please, boom, you guessed it, Baby Tyson. Now, I believe that first it was giving reckless when she just went in there and got the girl wig. I was like, oh, okay, like, ooh, she need that wig. Okay, she, she on big energy. She pressing stuff for real. She really about that. But once... Ferrari <laughs> told on camera that Baby Tyson basically went in there and asked permission. I then kind of got a little turned off because, you know, in earlier episodes, Baby Tyson was like, oh, I don't follow rules. You know, I'm going to do what I want to do. But then you go in there and ask for permission to go get the girl wig. I kind of felt was like childish because you supposed to be missed. I'm going to do what I want to do. I get up in there. And don't get me wrong, you did do what you need to do, but it came with restrictions because Ferrari told you to do it that morning instead of you just taking it upon yourself to do it when you wanted to do it. So that's the first person I got. Let's get her out the way. So let's move on to number two, which is Big Ivory, the um Big Bad Wolf, as I like to call her. I think she was reckless, but not super duper reckless i do believe you know because they asked her to calm down she did do that you know she was a little reckless by the mouth but not with her hands and you know i'm glad that she did somewhat follow what production asked her to do i do appreciate the fact that you know she didn't necessarily come in there just intimidating the girls like off the rip Thank God, you know, like she said, they had to calm her down when she first got there. So I'm glad, you know, once we kind of seen her, she kind of explained herself. She explained where she was coming from. And I do feel like by the time, you know, they got in the van, they got on the boat, she kind of was like activated. But and it was given reckless with, like I said, with her mouth, the way she was talking to Sierra and stuff. But other than that. I feel like she was cool. I don't necessarily feel like she was giving real reckless, you know? So, that's it about her. Hers was quick, too. I just, let me get her out the way. Let's move on to the next person, which I believe she really won, like, the quote-unquote reckless title for this episode, which is, drum roll, please. <laughs> Boom, you guessed it. You win $1,000. Nugs. Nug wins um, this episode for me, in my opinion, because she had to prove to Ivory that, you know, she could stand in the paint with her. This is Ivory's son. This is Ivory Jr. You know what I'm saying? She's seen her daddy, so she had to impress her father. And I definitely um, feel like when Ivory came, not necessarily it was a switch that came on, but it gave more so Mean Girl vibes. You know, it was like, Hey, my daddy's here. I have to put on for my father. I have to let my father know, you know, I'm worthy to be in his presence. I am, you know, the big bad wolf number two. And I'm let me let me show my skills more so that's what it gave. With the Sierra thing, like she said, you know, she didn't say nothing to Sierra or whatever when she confronted Sierra, the way she was talking to Sierra, or how she was saying, like, oh, you know, I don't care nothing about you all this, all that, you know, she let it be known that she wasn't really stunned Sierra, she wasn't really on that when it came to Sierra, 
which I understand. And then, you know, when Sierra was like, I'm not done talking, they didn't even show Sierra saying it. So we can't even get any context on how Sierra said it. Um, But, you know, Nuz gave her that look like, oh, it's time for me to put on the show. My daddy's here. And that's exactly what she did. And I do think that she was rocking the mic with Sierra because... Like I said, once again, she has to prove herself to her father. She has to, you know, let her father know, hey, I'm worthy. And with that, like I said before, she had to let let her father see what she working with and let her know she's a heavy hitter and she's a big dog and she's worthy of being on now that's TV. And, you know, hey, if I'm cool with her, I'm sure I can get put on other shows. I'm sure that, you know, they'll see me and they'll be like, oh, OK, she in with something. Because Nuz was on Girls Trip. So, whatever she did on Girls Trip provided her an opportunity to come on this show. And it may be her and Ivory got cool off a of Girls Trip. I don't know. But, you know, we'll see once Girl, Girls Trip come out. And, you know, we'll see her personality from there. But I do think the way she had talked to Sierra and hugging up in Sierra and tussling with her, I do believe that she showed the most recklessness out of this episode you know the because like i said the way she was talking and the way she had got on that when sierra had told her that she wasn't done talking and mind you like i said daddy's here so she has to let daddy know oh, okay let me show you what i'm on let me show you my skills now maybe ivory has already seen her fight i don't know but i'm just going off of what we have in front of us right now i'm not necessarily going off another show because we haven't seen that show so we don't know um so right now we're gonna play like this is nug's first show and we're gonna go off of this she just met ivory and hey she wants to show ivory that she can rumble all right but yeah so i just feel like nugs is queen of this episode but that's all i got for you guys in this video make sure y'all subscribe to the channel like the video and click the bell i'm gonna see y'all the next one bye